Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at a question which was asked in IIT 1997. This is one of the questions that doesn't require many calculations but all it requires is the basic knowledge of your mathematics. Where is the question? For each natural number k, let ck denote the circle with radius k centimeters. So we have a circle and its center it has origin so we have a x and y axis and center it has origin on the circle ck a particle moves k centimeter in the counterclockwise direction so for arc length k the particle moves k length on the circle ck and ends up here now after completing its motion on CK, the particle moves on CK plus 1 in radial direction. So we have a circle CK plus 1 which says that it has a radius of K plus 1. And the particle moves on CK plus 1 in radial direction. So now the motion of the particle continues in this manner. So similarly, the particle on CK plus 1 moves a distance of k plus 1 radially on the arc and ends up here. So the question is, if the particle starts at 1 comma 0 on x axis, to find if the particle crosses the positive direction of x axis for the first time on circle Cn, then we have to find the value of n. Here you can see the basic knowledge of the diagram. So let us understand first what is a radian. So if you have a circle of radius r, the angle subtended by the arc of length equal to radius is defined as one radian. So we have an arc length equal to the length of radius and the angle subtended by the arc is nothing but one radian. So we can write theta as arc length by radius and we have arc length as r and radius as r. So this gives us one radian. This question requires the basic knowledge of radian. So now we have for complete circle, the angle substantive will be using the other formula. We have theta is equal to arc length divided by radius. That gives us circumference by radius. This is 2 pi r by r and this is nothing but 2 pi. So if we put the value of pi, we get this 6.28 radian. So for a full circle, the total angle in radian measurement is 6.28 radian. So now let us see this. For circle C1, we have this as 1 radian and for the circle C2, we have this as second radian and similarly for circle C3 when the particle will be on C3 circle we have third radian and particle for the fourth centimeter circle we have four radian completed in counterclockwise direction similarly we have the fifth radian the particle will be on fifth circle and for sixth radian we have particle on the sixth circle now the remaining angle before x axis we have 0 0.28 radians so that gives us theta as 6.28 radians for the complete circle and by this time the particle will be on the seventh circle so while moving on the seventh circle the particle is likely to cross the x axis so now we have an answer of cn that is equal to 7 and obviously the n is equal to 7 so that is our answer hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching